What is system performance? System performance is the amount of work accomplished by a computer system. Depending on the context, high computer performance may involve one or more of the following. Short response time for a given piece of work. High throughput, rate of processing work. Low utilization of computing resources. High availability of a computing system or application. High impact data compression or decompression. High bandwidth. Short data transmission time. What is performance engineering? Performance engineering within systems engineering, encompasses the set of roles, skills, activities, practices, tools, and deliverables applied at every phase of the system's development life cycle which ensures that a solution will be designed, implemented, and operationally supported to meet the performance requirements defined for the solution. Aspect of performance Availability Response time Processing speed Channel capacity Latency Bandwidth Throughput Relative efficiency Scalability For this part I am not going to go for details. I will just go directly to the point. If you want the details please go to my Facebook page and send me a message. Why system performance become slow? Too much unused registry, unused registry. Too much application. Startup application increases. A lot of application that is not important have been installed. Too many applications are running. Malware attack. Hard disk is full. The disk is not being defrag. And more. Ways to increase system performance. To increase the system performance is not very hard. If you know what to do. Close unused system tray program slash icon slash applications. Lighten your web browser. Scan for malware. Free up disk space. Defrag the hard disk. Uninstalled unused programs. Disable startup programs. Close unused program using system manager. Close unused system tray programs. System tray programs increase or more because of startup programs is more. Anyway, I will talk about it later. Now I will tell you and show you how. 1. Go to the system tray program at the right bottom corner. 2. Then, choose any unused program like uTorrent, Google Drive, Skype and more. 3. To close it just right click and click on close. 4. Here you go. Lighten you web browser. Lighten your web browser is refer to you extension plugins. You can disable it or delete it. But remember some of the extension plugins is very important and if you delete it, your browser may be affected. So be careful on what you're doing. If you do not know, you may ask me first what to do by sending me a message on my page. On Google Chrome. 1. First go to the search bar and type in chrome colon slash slash extensions. 2. 
then choose unused extension plugins and disable it or delete it. 3. If you are not confident on what you are doing just go for disable plugins. If you do know what you are doing then go for delete plugins. Scan for malware. As we know malware is the new virus program that is being created and used by computer hackers. I am not going to talk about malware now, I will talk about it later. For now I will tell you how to scan and delete the malware virus. 1. You need to have any malware fighter or antivirus program. 2. Then, run the scan. 3. For some situations, the malware cannot be delete. This is because the malware have been attached or attacked your system files. This is very critical situation. 4. So, run the scan and do not force the antivirus program to delete the undelete malware. There is another way to fix this problem. Free up the disk space. To free up the disk space, there is one program, software we need. For Windows operating system the software have been installed in the system. 1. First, go to the search bar and type in disk cleanup and press enter. 2. Select the drive you want to scan and to clean up. 3. Press OK, it will scan automatically. 4. Wait until finished. 5. Then, Select all the option on files to delete. 6. Click on OK. It will delete the selected files directly. Defrag the hard disk. Disk defragmenter is the tool that have been installed on Windows operating system to defrag the hard disk. 1. First, go to the search bar and type in defrag and press enter on defragment and optimize. 2. Choose the hard drive you want to defrag. 3. Click on analyze. 4. After analyzing process complete. Click on Opt. Uninstall unused program. Nowadays, many installer has secretly install another software to support their company. That is the reason why unused program is increasing when we install new software. 1. First, go to search bar and type programs and press enter on programs and feature. 2. Then, choose the unused program to uninstall. 3. After that click on uninstall. Disable startup program. To do this you need a tool called iabit startup manager or other tools may worked. I used iabit startup manager. Just simply go to your tools and scan for startup programs. It must be easy to use.
close unused program using Task Manager. For this part you need to know that you only can disable the apps and background process only. Do not try to disable any Windows process or your system will be dead. I will just go for video tutorial on this section. I hope you can follow.